All right, guys, this is a continue for the zero force members, but this is more complicated problem. And just by looking at this problem, we have um, an external force, forces on at N, at joint N and I. And here we have a roller connection and then a pin connection. So a roller connection tells us that there's a, a force going in this direction, called a BY. Same thing for here, AY and AX. All right, so by just by looking at this, the best way to determine the zero force members is starting out, uh, draw the free body diagrams of the farthest joints. In this case, we have D and C. So if we draw the free body diagram for D, we have a force here called a DX, and this one we'll call it DY. By the way, by reference, I apologize that it is kind of small. So just by drawing the free body diagram here, you see that there's only one force in the x direction. So the summation in the x direction, dx equals zero. And the summation in the y direction, we have negative dy equals zero. So there you go. This right here is a zero. This one's a zero force member. And since this is identical, or not even, let's just make sure. Let's draw the free body diagram at c. Summation, we have let's call this Cx. So negative Cx equals zero. And then also here we have negative Cy equals zero. So this is zero. This one's also zero force number. Alright, now I'm looking at let's see what is the farthest point. After we do this, we can do point or the joint M. Looking at joint M right here, because these are already determined as zero, we only have force going this way and that right here. Alright, so we have three forces, so we can't really determine any of them since they are at an angle. So we move on to a different point. In this case, we can work at point F. So if you look at point F over here, Point F. This is the connection right here. Okay. So it's going to connect like this. In this case, for point F. I'm going to determine my x and y uh, axis. In this case, I'm going to say that this right here is going to be my x direction. And this right here, since this is the 90 degrees, I'm going to call this my y direction. Okay, so now we have an x and y directions. From there, you can actually do the summation. And if we say the summation of F in the y direction equals zero. In this case, let's call this right here force F I and this one F J. So what do we have here? We have F I negative F I minus, let's call this theta, minus F J. Cosine theta equals zero. And if we do it in the x direction, what do we have here? We have the fj. In this case, we have fj. And we're doing x. So in this case, it's going to be sine sine theta equal zero. So we know that fj is going to be zero. And therefore, if you look at the formula for fy, negative fi, we know that fj is already a zero, so fi is also a zero force number. Okay, so now moving on over here, if we do the point at k, This is our end connection right here. And we have the external. 
external force going down. Since we have an external force going down, we know, we automatically know that this cannot be, this is not a zero force member. And just by that, you can actually do the, the free body diagram at K. In this case, if you do that, you notice that this actually has a value. So therefore, that this right here, the Ki, cannot be zero also. So there you have it. This is not a zero force member here on that one. The reason this came out as a zero force member because if you do the free body diagram at J, let's do that, just to clarify. At J, there is no force members, but you have a force like that. And since there is no force acting in here, we automatically know that this is a zero. This right here is a zero. This is not, and you automatically know that this right here cannot be a zero, since this has a value, and on and on. And there you have it.